All right, what about the y-intercept? We know that x is zero in that case, so we just need to find y. How do we find y? We cover up the x part, just focus on the y. And remember, the minus sign here is part of the y term, so we have to leave it in there. So what equation do we have now? Another really easy equation. All right, negative three y equals 12. Move both sides by negative three. Negative three is cancel. Right. And let's cancel out those fours over here. That we did before. And then positive divided by negative is negative. 12 divided by three is four. So if the sign is negative, we have negative four. And then a y-intercept is a point, so we need zero and negative four.